What's up everybody, it's Spirit with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. When we left off in the last episode, I went off and look and search for uh, aluminum oxide crystals and found absolutely none. But we have found an interesting little wreck here. Now, I got kind of lost, not gonna lie. Um, and I've used biome maps for the game before, uh, but without a compass and stuff, it's still kind of hard to tell what direction you're going and things other than like, you know, um, sunlight and angles and things like that, or a relation to the aurora. But I found an interesting little gizmo, kind of like the um, Minecraft has. If you hit F1, a lot of you probably know about this. It's got a lot of different information, but in the middle there you'll see player biome, and I've actually stumbled across the sea treader path. I was trying to get back to um, the Grand Reef biome because the aluminum oxide is said to be there, and still hadn't found any. Okay, you're 93. I did switch out these cells, but I have been moving, so that probably didn't really charge all that well. Oh well. I am missing my sea glimpse. I have not gone back for it. Um, let's see where you have an entry point so I can park closer. I do need to keep an eye on the air. Um, but yeah, I... Is that a door? Can I use that? I mean, obviously it's a door, but I don't think I can actually get in there. Uh, but yeah, I've never actually been on the sea treader path before. And yes, I stand corrected. It is sea treader, not trader. I was thinking, like, you know, it trades stuff with you. You get things from it. I may have waited too long to start swimming back. I thought I could make it. Emergency. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Remaining. Stop talking to me. Come on. Welcome up. Woo! Captain. All systems online. Okay, um, we're gonna switch to camera mode here. So I can get a better look at this thing. So yeah, um, that'll be a easier way to actually confirm where I am. Because honestly, some of this kind of looks the same. I mean, I guess, I guess there's some different foliage and stuff. But I personally feel like you could easily mistake that for like a safe shallow or dunes. Um... Whoa, pop in loading. So, this looks kind of like it could be a lot. Like, there might be stuff in here, but I'm not really seeing a... Oh, wait. No, that... Wait, there it is. That looks like a door. Let's bring it around that way. Man, a lot of pop in loading. Um, in case you guys weren't aware, whenever it stutters like that, I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, I never really checked, but I'm assuming it shows up in the video. Uh, but if it does not, well then, you know, don't worry about it. Um, you know. But, uh, if you're seeing, like, stuttering and stuff, it's usually just because it's loading. Like it's trying to bring in new terrain and things. Um, let's see here. Oh, well, that's interesting. I always find these other paths after I find the hard to find entry. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I honestly don't see that much in there though. Like I could just be missing stuff, but I really don't see that much in there. So we might want to return to our crystal hunt. Actually, now that I think about it, the wiki actually said that the aluminum oxide crystals show up here as well in the sea treader path. So we may want to take a peek around here as well. And actually, whoop, wait, nope. There's the front. Okay, I got turned around. Um, and actually, um, we might actually get to encounter a sea treader, which I have yet to see in-game. I saw them in the update videos, but I haven't actually got to see one up close. There's definitely some resources to be found here, though. That's for sure. I wonder, since they've kind of implemented the, you know, you can grab eggs and stuff, I- wait, is that it? 
that looks like it. It's either that or that's salt. I hate that they changed at a distance. Not so much up close, but at a distance, the salt looks a lot like the oxide crystals I'm looking for. Oh, hello. Spiked horn grass. Interesting. I was also informed. Um, yeah, that's salt. Dag nabbit. Every time I think I find the crystals, I just keep finding salt. There's so much salt everywhere. Who needs this much salt? Um. Caution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of oxygen. I remain. really miss my sea moth. I should have brought it with me. Sea glimpse. Sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that from time to time. I just am. Um. Yeah, because I have like no air down here, down this deep, because I don't have a rebreather either. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm getting a little annoyed that every time I keep finding stuff, it ends up just being salt. And it's kind of like, dude, this is not supposed to be... I know it's kind of supposed to be rare, but it shouldn't be, like, impossible to find. Man, I can't see a thing. What are these things? I can't see a thing out here, though. It's, like, pitch black down here. Again, you know, realistic and all, but... I still can't see, and I don't know where my... There's my... There's my tail. Oh, wait. That's, like, the Kush biome mushroom things, right? Is that what those are? Maybe? Oops. I think my tail's caught. Yeah, I think... I want to say I'm heading into... <laughs> it was either my tail or my nose. One of the two. Something was caught. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure about all this here. Oh, we're in the Grand Reef now. Okay, well that's kind of good. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good because the reef was also where this stuff's supposed to be. Yeah, we're still in the Grand Reef. Okay, so these giant floaty balls are Grand Reef then. Oh, there it is. Wow, right there. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Stop it. <laughs> I spent, like, a whole episode last time looking for these things. I parked in the actual Grand Reef for, like, five seconds. Bam. And I need at least two. Can I get some... Oh, you can get a seed. Sweet. Oh, there's two. I may want to grab a few more if they're readily available, which I already see another one. Caution. Um, not because I can think of anything that uses them besides these upgrades, mainly just so that I don't have to keep coming and looking for them every five seconds. Um, I also have some ideas, some ideas, about um, the bioreactor. Now, I know a lot of people had mentioned, well, not a lot of people, some people had commented about um, different, kind of like the Feed the Beast biomass stuff that different plants and animals and stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, gave you different amounts of power. Which, you know, it makes sense. Oh, crap, I got a little further away than I thought. I might have to go back soon. Emergency. I know, Ten I know. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's look when we get in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's probably good enough, so I can probably start heading back. Attention all crew, blow all ballast tanks, surface, surface. Because there's really no point in... Wait a minute. Let me check my power cell back here. There's really no point in going back underwater. Yeah, I thought you might be ready. There's really no point in going back underwater um, when I can just go back on the surface and not have to deal with anything. Um, but yeah, so I have some ideas. I know the I know that there's varying different uh, what you call it. What's the word I'm looking for? Return. There's various different returns depending on what you actually use. Um, in the bioreactor, but I have some ideas for the bioreactor room that I think will be kind of cool. Um, that'll give it some different 
looks and things, whatnots. So the other thing that I just now thought about is I have mercury ore, or I've picked up mercury ore before, and I have aluminum oxide now, and I think I've picked that up before in this playthrough, but I've reset the game so many times I'm not sure if it was this one or not, but I don't know why I don't have a compass. Um, like, I just straight up don't have a compass. I don't think. Uh, if, if it did, it unlocked and I just totally did not notice it. Um, so that's one other thing, because the sense of direction has been very difficult as far as that's... There's no, like, map, really? Which is kind of frustrating. Um, I mean, I get that it's in early access, so they're probably, like, changing things more frequently than they're not. But it would be nice to have some kind of, like, map thing, like in Minecraft, where you can eventually get some sense of direction. Though, though, to be fair, to be fair to the devs, I could make buoys or beacons and in hard to find places just drop them off and, you know, there's a beacon. So that's kind of my bad too. I haven't built any beacons and taken them with me or anything. Uh, but anyways, we're going to work on trying. I think I had everything else, but I'm going to try and upgrade the uh, sea view here. Um, and work some on the bioreactor room. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. Um, I may just work on gathering stuff and making sure I have what I need and then come back and we'll upgrade the, the sea view. Uh, but I may tinker with um, the bioreactor room in the background as well because I have some ideas that I want to try and see if it'll work. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to work on some of that stuff and I will see you guys momentarily. Okay, so good news and bad news. The bad news is I kind of accidentally forgot what I was going to use the titanium for. Um, <laughs> stealing it. <clears throat> and went ahead and have tons of lithium and enough of the aluminum oxide and don't have any more titanium anymore. <clears throat> Welcome aboard. Captain. So, there's that. But, but, I did manage to fully charge up our power cells, yay! No, the, the good news is I was actually able to do mostly what I intended to do with the bioreactor room. However, um, well, it probably Captain. won't stay that way forever. I'll put it that way. Um, and I will show that in a minute. I have one, that's another one, and that's another one. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that we're going to predominantly be using quartz for building in our base, and then most of my titanium is going to end up going into reinforcements to compensate for the whole um, de degradation. But, um, so you'll see momentarily, and uh, I have some other things, hence why I built the glass to show you, and ready? Ta-da! Yes, that's the nuclear reactor room. So, ta-da! Bioreactor room, what? I may not have had enough titanium to do a living wall over here, aka I was missing one. Um, now the reason I said it might not stay this way is because you really can't walk through here. Um, it's too crowded, so you have to kind of jump, and at the moment I have hanging fruit growing here, and eventually you're just not going to be able to get around here at all. So there's that, and that's the only problem. Um, I planted hanging fruit because I really don't have any other indoor plants that'll grow, and I did find out you can put uh, fruit in the bioreactor. Why it's not exactly working, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming it's because the solar panels are still powering it, so until the solar panels run out of energy, then the bioreactor doesn't kick on? I'm assuming, because there's no, like, button to turn it on and off, and there is an active setting, so, I mean, no. Uh, but anyways, my next step was to put windows in here. Because I like a lot of glass in my underwater bases, in case you hadn't already picked up on that. 
Um, and I thought that would be kind of cool to have, like, trees and stuff, grass, nature-y in the bioreactor room, and then have windows on the opposite sides. But we may, we may, not 100% sure yet. I don't have any more glass. I don't have any more glass. Okay. We might end up making another one of these rooms and then making it a bit more like you can walk through the center kind of thing. Because I think through the center you'd be okay. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Because with this in the middle and then the plants on the side, it's not really... It's not really working for me too well. It is a good idea, and I like it, and I like the living wall with the plants and making that kind of the nature room. Um, but it's also not real conducive if I actually wanted to walk around in there. I don't know what the hanging fruit will do for, um, for bioreactor return fuel, but just because I can make so much of it so quickly, it seemed like a pretty decent option to have. Um... That, and eventually I can get rid of this guy, because it'll all be in the bioreactor room. Um, but like I said, I have some other seeds. I even picked up that membrane one while we were out looking for stuffs. And they're all they're all outdoor ones, because I picked them up underwater. So I need to go back to the um, floating island at some point, and gather some more of the regular like normal plants and stuff um that said i do need to actually do some titanium hunting because i need 10 for the main ingot the, not the main ingot the main upgrade on the cyclops upgrades they need one plasteel ingot and then uh after that then you need the normal upgrade plus 10 more so, all in all, if my math is right, I need about 110 titanium, which, ugh, that's going to take forever. And to be quite honest, I don't know if I have enough time to gather all of that. I have enough, um, like, time on my episode that I could pause it here and then go gather a bunch and, you know, we're all done. But I don't know if I'll actually have enough recording time to sit down and, and do that off camera and then come back and still have enough time to do everything. Um, so that's the only thing that I'm dealing with at this point. What can I do? Three more? Let's go ahead and grab a few more. I gotta charge up my uh, retractor gun to whatever they call it. Re what is this called anyway? A repuls repulsion? Propulsion rifle, okay. Or cannon, propulsion cannon. Whatever. Whoops. I meant you. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so that's full. Now, here's a good thing. Let's see how long this would take. One, two, three, five. Let's go three by three. So that's nine. Uh, nine by four would be 36. Ugh. This is going to take me a minute to get 110. Now, granted, uh, we did get enough already that I can make the one upgrade, which might be a good bookend for this episode. I'm not sure. Um, and if I could find them like that, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But the problem for me is I think I've used up a lot of the scrap metal around my area. Um, and because of that, I don't know where I would have to go to find more. I could use my scanner room to set it up to look for it, but I think that might be best left for in between this episode and the next episode, maybe? Because uh, we did find aluminum oxide, and we did get more progress done on, um, on the reactor room. Again, I do think I'm going to change it in the long run, but for right now, I'd say that works pretty well. Uh, where can I put all that lithium? Here we go. I threw some in here because I filled up my ore chests, and I'm going to need one of you. Okay. Um, poo. I need... Ah, crap. I need to take this fabricator back over to the Cyclops, don't I? Yeah, because you have to be on the sub to get the submarine tab. Dang it. 
<sighs> oh well. Okay, let's just go ahead and make what I can out of this. We should get at least three titanium ingots. Which should give us three plus steel, because I have the three lithium with me. Um, however, that still isn't enough to do any more than the one upgrade, so meh. But it'll set us up a little bit better next time. We won't have as much to go get. So let's go ahead and put two of them back in there. We're going to put the rest of this in here and put the quartz in with the quartz where it belongs. And let me grab you. I already put the power cells back on there. That sucks though because I just recharged my power cells. So it's kind of like they should finally be able to you know rest at full charge and now I'm going to have to go back and use it again. Oh well. What are you going to do? Okay, fabricator. Let's just throw you down there. I know, I know, I know, I know. I need to make another one, but I'm just out of silver at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Cyclops pressure compensator. Now, we should get... Oh no, it's the... Uh... It's the upgrade... Or, uh, what do you call it? Workbench that I need for that. Okay, rearrange, blah, 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 throw you in there. Crushed up's now 900. Nice. Wait a minute, why are you two so floaty? I never noticed that before. These two are like floating way off of the wall. Hmm, curious. Let's go ahead and grab you again. Because until I'm ready to make the extra upgrade, um won't really be able to build anything if I don't have that. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did make a medical kit there. So we're stocking up on med kits. Yay. Okay, we'll throw you back down there. Yeah, I think it's this uh, workbench. Or modification station. Yeah. And it's one aluminum oxide and ten plasteel. Now, what's interesting to me is there's four open bays on the sea view. And we have enough to make one ultra, another one, and another ultra, and another one. But I don't think we would need all that. The reason being, if one already puts us at 900, I don't think there's any biomes that are too much further down than that. Um, I don't know what the Ultra will do, but I'm fairly sure the Ultra would be more than enough. Now, it is interesting, because while there will most certainly be other upgrades that we can get eventually, um, I was told in the comments a few episodes ago, because I've learned how to regenerate the environment, um, through the method that I talked about in the last update video when they actually updated the game. And I mentioned that we didn't have to start all over, we just had to leave out the, um, the grids, the coordinates for our base, and then you go into your files and you delete them all and blah 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 blah. And it basically regenerates the terrain. Now, here's the interesting part. I was actually informed that if you do that, the Aurora regenerates as well, and you can go back in there and get another energy efficiency upgrade. So what I'm thinking is we could do one ultra pressure compensator, which will probably put us over a thousand meters down, which I really don't know that there's a biome right now that exists other than like the void off the side of the map, but I really don't think there's a biome that exists that is lower than that. I'm not even sure there is one that's that low, but even still, even still. So my thought process is then we can use the extra three bays for three more power efficiency things, and then that thing will never run out of gas. Um, especially when you couple it with the power cell rechargers that we have on it and stuff. Uh, another thought is in doing that we would get more resources around us again that we could go scavenge for materials. Now I don't think I really want to do that all the time, mainly just because it's a pain. 
Uh, it's not real difficult. It's just kind of time consuming that you've got to load the game. Well, now I take that back because I've never done it when the update wasn't involved to where you had to set the version number and all that crap. Uh, the way it is right now without being an update, I may just be able to go in and delete the grids that aren't my base and then just reload the game and have it be fine. I don't know. Um, I know when you're doing it for the update, you have to like load the game, uh, or no, you don't load the game because it'll, it'll overwrite it, but it's one of those you have to boot up the game, check the build number, close the game, change the build number, boot it up, check your numbers for your grid, take it back down, delete the stuff, load it again, and then it like reloads everything and then you have to do it again. And it's it's just like tedious to load the game that many times. It takes like an hour for me. Um, so I don't know that I want to go through that very often or anything and I may just wait because we're probably due for an update fairly soon. It's been a little bit since they did the, the nap time or overcharge nap or whatever the newest update was. Um, it's been a fairly good, like, couple of weeks, I would say, so usually they seem to be updating it about once a month or every two months or something like that, give or take. So I'm kind of thinking we'll be due for an update anyway, and when that happens, then we'll need to do that all over again anyway, but that means we get a free efficiency upgrade out of it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, but... Because my episodes have been running a little long lately, I haven't had any complaints, but I'd still would like to bring it, kind of rein it back in and hold about the 25, 30 minute mark. Um, for certain things, I am completely stuck right now. That was weird. For certain things like The Witness, where it's just like you barely get going on the stuff and you're like 45 minutes into it. Uh, that's okay, but for some things like this that are more sandboxy and it's just up to you to come up with things to do, I'm kind of not wanting to keep them into 45 minutes and stuff. That gets a little bit long for people to watch, so I'm trying to kind of rein it back in. Um, so, overall, though, we, we accomplished a lot. We got back, we found our aluminum oxide crystals, we found a better way to um, find the Grand Reef again. That reminds me, I want to check and see if we've unlocked the... Um, What's it under? Equipment? Tools? Equipment? Yeah, see, we have the thermometer, but there's no compass, and I don't remember what I need to find, because I found mercury already, and I thought that's what did it. Apparently, I was incorrect. Um, so, yeah, but we got, got back, found our aluminum oxide crystals, we changed up the... Or, we got one upgrade in there to get us to a 900 meter depth. I don't remember what the sea glimpse is. I think it's like 500 or something, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, and we upgraded the bioreactor room. I am open to suggestions on better ways to make this a little more efficient, though, because I'm aware this is not a good um, footpath type setup, because it's very hard, and especially with these back here now, like that, I won't be able to jump these front ones anymore, and this will never get used. So, uh, I'm aware of that, but at the moment, I didn't have enough titanium to do it any differently. But I do like this whole living wall plant thing, and then windows and stuff. That's kind of cool. If we did one off to the side here, and then kept this, I might do all glass, and then a glass tube walkway, another room, and then a fully living wall um, room type of thing. So you have like an entire nature room kind of thing. Kind of like a green room. I thought that would be kind of cool. So anyways, I think that's going to wrap things up for this episode. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to leave your comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!